today we're talking about water heater recirculation systems. Uh, sometimes they're called domestic hot water recirculation systems. So here's a short video clip showing you what one looks like in real life. High efficiency tank type water heater. This little cold water supply line coming in. Hot water supply line, dedicated return line. It's that red dedicated return line. Isolation ball valve. There's a recirculation pump. A sensor that detects the temperature of the hot water line leaving the hot water heater. Another isolation ball valve. This one tees off the uh, drain valve at the bottom of the water heater. It's the exhaust fan and the circulation pump plug into a 120 volt GFCI outlet. Wow. So again, to clarify a dedicated return line, as the name suggests, has a dedicated ambient return line going back to that recirculation pump into the water heater. So new construction, you might see this a lot now because more and more states are requiring a water heater uh, recirculation system because it saves energy, saves water, because a person doesn't have to stand there and let the water run and wait for hot water to come to the tap if they're brushing their teeth, washing their hands, shaving, taking a shower, etc. Another option uh, for existing construction, you can install one of these um, recirculation systems. You can buy them at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, just a quick um, disclaimer, this video is not a promotion for Lowe's or Home Depot, Amazon, any, any supplier or vendor. Basically, you see here, this one gets installed underneath the sink where you want instant hot water. And it comes with the T's, the two supply lines, the little pump with an integrated timer and check valve. Woo! And that's for single uh, pipe hot water tanks with no return line. So this one, again, you can buy on Amazon for $174 as of October 2022 and this one's by Watts and again you see you simply unscrew the hot water line on the top of your tank type water heater screw the pump onto that nipple and then attach the hot water line to the outlet of the pump you can see this pump also has a built-in integrated timer so you would set this to run during peak times that you and your family are gonna be using hot water. So if you all get up at 6 a.m. to take showers, wash your hands, brush your teeth in the morning, then you could have the pump run from let's say 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And in the evening, if you take showers at let's say 8 p.m., you could have the pump turn on at let's say 7.30 or 7 p.m., have it shut off at 9 p.m. So the pump's not running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's only running during uh, the times that you know you're likely to be using hot water. And then you install the, uh, the, the comfort valve underneath the sink, as you see in the right-hand picture there. So on the left, 
the, the hot water supply line goes into that comfort valve and then out the top of it goes to the hot water side of your, your faucet. And on the right hand side, obviously the cold water supply line connects and then up the top right side there goes to the, the cold water side of your faucet. So just sort of a better example of how that exactly works. You can see the circulator pump with the built-in aquastat uh, and timer is installed at the furthest point from the heat source from your water heater, uh, tankless or tank type water heaters. An important note, not all tankless water heaters are compatible uh, with these recirculation kits and some tankless type water heaters have a built-in recirculation pump inside the tankless water heater cabinet itself. Wow. So you want to do your research ahead of time and determine what type of water heater you have and if one of these kits would be compatible. So a close-up uh, cutaway view of what these thermal bypass valves, sometimes called bridge valves, sensor valves, comfort valve, etc. Uh, basically, uh, they are thermally uh, sensitive. Actuating member includes an actuating element having a body and a piston extending and contracting relative to one another as a thermally sensitive actuating member heats and cools with the water temperature respectively. Woo! So when the hot water comes in, let's say that your water line is full of cold water because it's been sitting all day, it's going to open and push that cold water through to the cold water piping. But as soon as it senses that increase in water temperature and hot water is inside of this uh, thermal bypass valve, it's of course going to then expand and shut the valve. So that's how those work. Another yet example, this one you can buy from walmart.com for 212 bucks. Uh, similar basic idea. You can see you got little, um, you know, your cold and hot water supply valves. You got your two T's, the, the thermostatic uh, valve, and then your supply lines going up to your faucet. But again, this particular kit is not for use with tankless type water heaters. And as I mentioned, many municipalities are requiring these recirculation systems to help improve efficiency and help prevent the wastage of, of water. Uh, Title 24 of the Colorado, excuse me, the California Code of Regulations now mandates hot water recirculation in California building codes if the distance from the heat source to the tap is 50 feet or more. I hope this information helps. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching.